Okay. So good morning, everybody. My name is Linda Weiss, and I have the honor of presenting this morning. Um, I am so excited about this. I work with, and if everybody um, on the line could hit star six to use your line because we're getting a lot of feedback. Um, hey, hey, Linda, Linda, you might want to go ahead and do yeah. the, um, the the star, star forty three. Okay. Yeah. Hold on just a moment, and I will mute the line. Oh, I think I unmuted everybody. That sounds, can everybody hear me? I guess you can. Um, so, if you can, if you can't hear me, give me a text. Um, so, my name is Linda Wee. I've been with Three Lives for almost eight and a half years now. Yay, thanks, thanks Robert. Um, Robert said he can hear me. So I've been with Relive for about eight years now, and I shared my story just a couple of weeks ago, but the quick story is I was buying a goat from a lady, and she had just become a Relive distributor and shared information out on an email. And when I went to pick up my goat, I asked her about it and got very intrigued, was interested in prevention, really thought I was mainly healthy. Um, So I ended up coming home with not only a goat, but product. Started the product for a few weeks. Um, It had a hard time just being consistent. And the first three weeks, didn't really notice much. But I stopped it for three weeks. And then I woke up and I just hurt everywhere. I just ached. I felt exhausted, and what I realized was that as I felt better and better on Relive, I just didn't notice these little things that were happening until I stopped, and they all came crashing back. And so I definitely wanted to get on the product and stay on it at that point because I realized it was doing something for me. And so I called her up and said, hey, how do I get it for the best price? I became a master affiliate. I really didn't have a lot of interest in doing the business, um, but shared with a few friends and family over the years. And long story short, so a year ago, I had become very interested in doing the business. I've been looking at using Relive as a way that I can retire early and um, really live, live my bucket list, um, so to speak. And also um, seeing so many people out there that are really good friends, I want to help them. I want to help them feel better. I want them to live their fullest lives. And I want them, if they need an income, this is a great way to have an income and feel really good about how you get that money. It's just amazing the blessings that you feel when you're helping others. And so... um, what I'd like to do is uh, just launch right into our, our business training, and I'm going to start the slideshow. And we're, I'm doing a little housekeeping here. So we've got business success training this morning. And this is the, the wonderful thing about Relive is that nobody hears about it unless you're sharing it as a business. And so, like, I heard it from Anna, who she was launching a business. She shared with others. That's how I heard about it. And so we want to be able to share this wonderful product with others and the business opportunity as well. And I'm sorry. I'm trying to advance my slide. So how do you succeed with Relive? Uh, We're looking at the circle of success. There's steps, there's the ISCAR book, um, the ISCAR book, excuse me. Um, We had a wonderful training last week in the Portland area with Barbara Bonich, and she shared her ISCAR books with us. And what that is, is for new distributors, I always think of what Pilot says, I can succeed at Relive, but it gives you a complete map of how to do this. And you identify and you connect. And you share the story, and 
So you want to um, introduce new people to this whole system, and you want to be sharing every day, and you want to look for ways to share. And then as you get new people, you can plug them into the different um, supports that Relive has. You've got calls. You've got your mentors. You've got your friends. Um, you want to look for you know something to do every single day so you can share Relive with others, with new people. And so, um, as I said, with the um, XR book, you want to go through these steps of the identify and the connect with others and share the story of Relive. And then you're going to ask for a decision. And then you're going to get them registered and go. And these are the things you want to do over and over again. What I've heard from so many people doing these trainings is that even when they get really successful businesses and they've been doing this for 20 years, they need to keep it simple. And what they've said is when they get complicated or, or they stop following these simple steps, then their businesses don't advance the way that they, they could. And when they scale back and just simplify on this circle of success, they're going to have great results. So the first thing you want to do is identify Identify new people. And this list says, you know, you're going to instantly, at, with your new distributors, with your new um, new folks that are looking to start a business, you want to start that list of 10 product prospects, 10 business prospects. So have your friends, your family, your new customers, your new distributors, think of 10 people that they want to share this with that need health results and 10 people who want to earn an income that they want to share this with. But if you go into the Ixar book, it actually has many lists of, of different groups. And what Barb and Don Gibbons taught us was to go through that book and really create a list of maybe 100 people and think about different groups that you could connect with. And so um, I did this, and I thought of all my goat-showing friends, and I thought of people that I used to play soccer with in high school, and I thought of people that I ride my bikes with and I know from different biking events. And so people from church, people from high school, people from middle school, people from grade school even. And now with Facebook and social media, there's wonderful ways to just keep connected and, and keep in the lives of these folks that uh, you might have lost contact with before social media existed. So you want to find new ways to add to the list every day, um, cold contacts and, you know, and people that you think, oh, I want a referral from them. And so the idea is to just have a lot of people that you can contact, that you can uh, reach out to and say, hey, I've, I've had this wonderful thing in my life and I'd love to share it with you. When do you have time? So then um, you want to, like I said, you want to connect with them. And you're going to look at these lists and you're going to think, who's first? Who's popping up into my head? And the way I really love to do this is to listen to the different story calls. I love to listen to the international call on Thursday. I love to listen to the Stories of Hope call. And often what I do is I sit down with a pad and paper while I'm listening to these calls because as I hear stories, people are going to flash into my mind. And I all think, oh, you know, my friend, my dear friend here, she's been dealing with this or I've heard about this going on with this other person and that's where I want to pick up the phone and connect with them and say, hey, I um, was thinking about you today. I heard something, but how's everything going? And I loved, uh, Lauren gave an example a few weeks ago of connecting with people. And Louise also gave an example of connecting with people. Um, 
to just reach out and connect with folks and say, how are you doing? And, and relive may or may not come up. But um, Louise, if you're on the, I know you're on the phone, um, could you unmute your line and share your recent example of of your realization with connecting with folks? I I found it to be so powerful, and I would love to have you share. And I'm sorry to put you on the spot really quickly. If I did the hard mute, maybe I um, I should unmute the lines here. Can you hear me? Okay. I, oh, yes, Louise. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh. Um, anyway, um, sure, I'd be happy to share. Um, um, well, it was a while back that I was um, bemoaning the fact that um, there was a time that when my phone rang all the time. And, um, and I um, never did. Oh, Louise, hold on just a sec. If everybody else could, could um, you I'm could, not on the uh, phone. Either. I'm on the computer. Start the, okay. All right. Thank you. Can you still hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Well, at any rate, um, a while back, I was bemoaning the fact that my that um, you know, where are my friends? I couldn't hear any. I I didn't hear from anybody, and you know, for me, nobody loves me, and um, it it. <laughs> it became very apparent to me and it came to me that, you know, why you're not hearing from anybody is because when you, when you work, when you have talked to people or um, in the course of time, if they weren't, in, they weren't interested in you or you could, weren't talking real, if you weren't talking to them. And I went, wow, how I would hate that to happen to me. And so I just started reconnecting with people because I love people and um, and just going out for coffee or meeting up and going for a hike or whatever, you know, just rekindling friendships. And and over the course of time um, and this this is happening fairly frequently now, but I've had I have, you know, by bi monthly or um, uh, or once a month together with different people and one of them um just in the course of conversation i don't not talk about relive i talk about what's going on with me but not to them about them for them i just talk about what's going on with me and um in the course of uh in well in the beginning of this month um a gal said that she said you know i need i need you uh, the next time we get together um, I can't wait till the next time we get together. We need to. I need to talk to you about relive. I w- I want you to tell me all about it. And so we got together and we did and uh, shared a couple stories. She's she's familiar enough that she knows names and um, she had been on the product a long while a while back. And you know things had changed. And um, anyway, she became a master affiliate. And she's ex- really excited but what is what i am noticing in working with her and um even ever since even since i last shared this is that we have a depth of our relationship that is beyond relive it's really quite wonderful and it's probably not new to any of you but it was really something that it was a, a habit that i had to to substitute with I, I can't, yes, there's a parking lot, but I don't, I think I was just throwing people out. I don't know. I mean, I, yes, I kept them on the list and everything, but I didn't communicate. And, um, 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 and quite frankly, Facebook sometimes is just a lot of noise to me. I really like the face to face and, um, and, and I, I'm, I'm thrilled with it because it's just connecting with people about where they are without relive in mind. I mean, yeah, I am relive. There's no doubt about it. But because they're not doesn't mean I can't talk to them. And that that was that was my shortcoming. So just 
just enjoy people where they are because people are quite wonderful. Um, and they really want to be heard. They really do. Everybody wants to be heard. Is that what you wanted, Linda? <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted. And, okay. you know, as you were sharing this last week, I thought, oh, wow, I, you know, I, I, I need to really reconnect with a, a dear friend of mine in Utah, and and um, she got started on the products, and then I had radio silence, and I've tried multiple times to connect, and I thought I've got to connect with her, and and because just to see how she's doing, and I don't care, you know, I do care if she orders product because I want her to get better, but I don't care because from a monetary, I you know, it's not about me. I want her. To right. get the results, and and as you were sharing this, I thought, oh, I've got to connect with her. I just I've got to try harder to reach out because all the ways I've been reaching out. And then ironically, she IM'd me in the middle of the night the next night, and so it ah. was wonderful. So well, you know, it's it, supposed it, it, to it, happen. And this is about I uh, you know building these. Um, this business is really about building relationships. Louise put it perfectly. And it really is, it's not about a bottom line. It's not about, well, how much product are you going to sell? It's not about selling at all. It's about helping. And it's about loving others. I, You know, so that, that's what I love about this business. That's what I love about this company. That's what I just feel sets it apart. And it's really about caring for people, caring for others. And thank you, Louise, for um, allowing me to put you on the spot and to share your your story like that. I really appreciate it. So um, ideally what you want to do when you're connecting with others is set up an appointment. If they're interested in Relive, if they're interested in hearing more, set an appointment so you can share the whole story with them. And so... You know, there's different ways to do this. Uh, There's um, statements of fact. Um, Give some different examples here. You know, I I just started in something that made me think of you. That's something that I use quite a lot, or I'll I'll say I heard something that made me think of you. You should really check this out. When when can we get together? Or, Or, you know, the most important one that Louise just validated here. How are you? How are you doing? And then you can use tools and stories to validate. Um, the one thing that I really love about this validation is when you bring in somebody else to say, oh, you know, I heard this story. You should talk with my friend Louise. I'm going to put Louise on the spot again. And when Louise shares her story, it's not me. It's not about me anymore. It's, it's showing this new person that, there's this whole world of results that are going on and it's not about me selling her a can of product. So that's what I, I love. And that's when, yeah, you you know, call. when, I've, had, when I've had great success with my business, no. I've been um, oh, well. sharing this. I'm going to I'm use the, the, I'm the gonna use the line for, talk. Talk for just a moment, please. Okay, so if um, if you want to talk at this point, you can hit star six to come on. But otherwise, you should all uh, we we cut back on the background noise. So the as I said, what's helped me with my business is when I reach out to others and I'm actually using the system, and I'm not sharing stories. I'm connecting people. So that's the great thing about this business is you, you've you got people, you've got different stories, you've got different ways to connect people to the whole story, and it's not coming directly from you. Um, that's wonderful. And so we've got, you know, different presentation tools available, um, the opportunity book, the slides, the videos, as you're doing uh, different appointments with people. There's the great real results webinar. I love using that Uh, because it's so easy and you can just pull it up on your phone or your iPad and just say, hey, let's watch this together. And it gives them the whole picture. It gives them multiple stories. 
of health results. It gives them multiple stories of business results. And it actually goes through what's our company about. So um, there's great tools, and these tools are really going to help you to build your business and to grow, uh, grow the number of people that you're helping. <clears throat> so um, as people want to join you and to help others, you want to help them to get engaged with the system as well. And so I know uh, we do a lot of different things. I have Brenda and uh, Brenda Louder and I in the Portland area. We have in-home parties. Uh, we do that twice a month. We open our homes to anybody that wants to come and uh, have an in-home party. And I know something's going on in Utah. We can uh, go over that at the end to make sure that everybody's aware of some events that are coming up in Utah. And I'll have California check in as well at the end of the call. Um, so, you know, think about how to get people engaged. And there's also the Lifestyle Magazine. And I think um, this got brought up last week at our great webinar or our great training with Barb Vermontage. And I was wondering if it was Louise that said it again. Um, you know, the realization that if people sign up as a distributor, it's not only master affiliates that get the Lifestyle Magazine, it's all distributors. And so there's the great one that I've got right in front of me, the Fit3 lifestyle magazine and it talks all about you know the new program and what's going on in the live and so everybody's going to get that as they get signed up as a distributor there's um also the great thing about relive is that there's so much support and so if i get asked a question i can say hey i don't know let me get connected, let's get connected to somebody else, and I bet I can find that answer for you. Let's see if so-and-so is available right now. So this is um, great in two parts because, first of all, we don't have to know it all. We don't need to know everything to just do a business. Uh, Ryan Montgomery recently at our business leadership training, he talked about you don't need the perfect words, you just need the perfect excitement. So if we're excited and, and, you know, we don't need the perfect, exact perfect words to get started with sharing. We just need to be excited and, and know how to connect people with others. So, and then you want to ask for a decision. And you want to be prepared. And so as you go out to these appointments or uh, even when you're out and about, it's great to have product with you. It's great to have tools available if they're just in the trunk of your car um, so that, you know, you want people to be so excited and just get that product to them so that they're ready to rip off the can, the lids, the lids of the can, and just get started and get their own results. Um, so you want to think about, you know, what can you do to be better prepared to just do relive anywhere at any time. And I know um, one of my goals is to become a little bit more technologically savvy. And I know that some other distributors have talked about, oh, they've got their little website on a link that they can just text to somebody. And so that's definitely a goal of what I want to learn how to do very quickly. But, um, you know, think about what what would you need to do to be prepared to just as you're sharing, and if somebody says, hey, that's great, let me get started. Um, I'm going to go back even eight years ago to when I met Anna for purchasing a goat. She had classic in her car. And so, um, you know, as I asked her about it, I was able, she, was, I, she was able to just give me a can. I could buy it from her directly. And I took it home and literally ripped the top off and, and made a shake and started on the product. So you want to you want to get started because you know we lived hundreds of miles apart and um and I don't know how quickly I would have gotten started uh had I not had that excitement. And there is something about the excitement. Um we were able to go to California for the great business leader training and Louise and um, she was talking with John Curtin, and I was eavesdropping uh, right there. 
And he was talking about, you know, his business is just booming. And he got a call at 2 in the morning one time, and he thought, well, I'm not going to answer that because he's got this international business going on. And so he thought, I'll just wait, and I'll call back. And he called back at 6 in the morning. Um, and, of course, you know, it was, it was more appropriate hours for the other person on the line. But by the time he called back, they already found somebody, some another relive distributor to get orders through. And so, you know, that's the thing. When people are excited about something in our modern world of new technology, we want instant answers and and we want instant product. We want it right now. Um, you know, Amazon Prime is thriving for a reason because we don't want to wait weeks for different things to show up. So that's the society we live in, and we're going to be really successful if we're ready to to just hit the ground running and help others do the same. So then we want to ask them for a decision. And this is where in the distributor kit, and you can order them um, separately as well, you get this decision-making tool. And I love this tool because it just illustrates perfectly what the levels are, what the cost is, what the cost savings are for people. And it gives them the opportunity to look at all of their options and say, hey, I'd like to start here, or, you know, this is going to work for me today. And the most important thing when you're asking for a decision that I've learned firsthand is you ask, well, you know, where would you like to get started? And then bite your tongue and let them answer the question. And I had a, a experience with a lady, and and I, you know, there was about four seconds of uncomfortable silence for me while she looked at the decision-making tool, and I was just about to say, hey, you know, a quick start was great. But I thought, oh, bite your tongue. You know, I was taught, do not answer that question for them. And after a couple more seconds, she turned over to the master affiliate um, area, and she said, well, I want to get started here. And I thought, that's fantastic. Okay, let's get you started there. Um, So that's the most important thing when you ask for a decision, let them answer. And just let that, you know, silence is uncomfortable sometimes, but let them think through and uh, and answer the question on their own because you never know what you might have prevented. So um, who do you know who can benefit from the Relive product? Pretty much everybody. Um, ask them where do they want to get started. And then, uh, you know, be ready to, if they want to come in as a distributor, if they want to come in as a customer, have product there. Let them get started immediately. <clears throat> if they want to come in as a distributor, um, it's so easy to get people signed up and do that online, uh, just from your phone, from your iPad, from a computer, um, or have, you know, on the on the rare occasion that you may be out of Wi-Fi range, have distributor orders, um, distributor applications with you. If they want to get started as a master affiliate, come up with uh, an order that you can say, well, this would be, you know, a place to start, and you can customize it for your own personal wants or, you know, the products that you're really interested in, but have a sample ready for them so that they can see, okay, if I did at this level, this is what I would get and this is how much it would cost. So um, take the time to get prepared and do that for folks. And then uh, talk to them about, you know, who do they know that might want to start a relive business. And then you want to get them registered. Let's let's get going. And you um, at this point you want to follow up. And you know, thinking back to my own story and thinking with the results that others have gotten, uh, my friends and my family. This is um, this is not sometimes the instant quick fix that everybody wants it to be. And as I've said before, we are in 
a society that we want answers right now. We want results right now. I love that thing on Facebook that says, you know, hey, if I eat a, if I eat a salad and exercise today, I expect to lose five pounds tomorrow. And it doesn't happen that way. I can I can tell you, um, you know, next next week I'm going to be doing a a bike ride of 50 miles, and and I will fully expect to step on the scale on Sunday and be you know five pounds less, and it's not going to happen. I just know that. But but there's there's this inner thought that this is what we want. We want instant results, and so that's why follow up is so important. And I think back to my own results. I did not, I got some really subtle changes over a few weeks, and they really added up, but I didn't see it. And I've had other results where um, I had hip pain go away, just a little tweaky thing in my hip when I started on the Artifact for a cold because I was told, oh, it helps with inflammation. So I thought, oh, I'll take it. And then um, my cold was over, and I stopped it. And then suddenly this hip pain came back a few days later, and I thought, oh, you know, I've I've been without this little um, pinch in my hip for a couple of weeks now, and I didn't even notice until it came back. And one of the things, you know, this is a natural product, and so this is the springtime. We're thinking about planting a garden. Um, You know, if I were to go out in the rain today in Portland, and plant some seeds and do a lettuce and tomatoes and cucumber, I would not be able to go out tonight and harvest a garden, um, harvest lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumber so that I could make a salad for dinner tonight. It just, with natural things, sometimes it takes a little while. So this is why follow-up is so important. And you want to keep exposing people to the stories. You want to get them connected with others. Um, make sure that they're consistent with their shakes. And and reach out, I think, about what Barb said um, with her with her story, Barb Vermonich. You know, you want to reach out with kindness and just say, hey, you know, we know you're busy. We, we love you. How's everything going? And just, uh, she talked about how when she got started on the product, she was having a hard time uh, being consistent. And the um, the folks that got her started would reach out to her and just say, hey, you know, how are, how's everything going? And it wasn't just about the product. It was, it was they really cared about her as an individual. And so she talks about treating your customers like gold. You, that's the way you want to do. Um, you want to treat folks like gold. And, and, Help them, help them get to see their own results, and so that's where follow up is so important. And then, if they become a distributor, you want to help them get their business going immediately. So, sit down with them the first thing and say, let's identify the ten folks that you think, from a health perspective could use these products, the 10 folks who are looking for an extra income, and help them connect and uh, and just be there for them. Say, who are we going to call first? And help them get set up to get access to the system, teach them about the different calls that are available, it, um, introduce them to your friends in Relive, because that's the wonderful thing about this company is we all help each other. And so, um, you know, just go over whatever steps of success that they might need to get them running and get them to the dreams that they have. And that's really exciting. So um, there's different tools uh, right down. um, I was going to say, sorry. Sorry. Um, different tools are available. I, I saw Heavy Grant had something, a, a great photo on Facebook the other night. She went to a mall. She set up a, a little display with Fit3. She had this Your Health Genetics Equals um, Your Health Equals Genetics Plus Lifestyle 
um, pamphlet on her table, and um, I'd be really interested to to see what results she got from that evening at the mall. But um, you want to have some different tools available, and there's lots of different tools that are are you can purchase through Relive, and then we've got different great events coming up. So uh, this slide shows Matt. It's now the business leadership training. Those are happening quarterly. And we went to one in California a few weeks ago, and it was just amazing. It was just a wonderful experience. We've got international conference coming up. And there was something that came out this week about looking for different airfares. I know um, I was watching airlines airfares for a long time and really jumped on a, a great price as soon as I saw it. Um, if you don't have your conference ticket yet, you can get one as a bonus. If you sign up three distributors between now and conference, you get free admission to conference. So that is a fantastic opportunity to build your business and help others build your business, build their business, and and get to conference. And conference is where, this is what Quila says all the time, leaders go to conference. Conference is where you see the whole picture. Conference is where you see thousands of like-minded people that all have a great story, that all have a great heart and compassion to help others, to help you and so this is where um, when I've gone to conference, I've, I've gone twice, and I went last year and just really saw the big picture and thought, wow, this is so exciting, and I want to build my business. I, you know, I've, I've got these bucket list dreams. I want to do these dreams, but I want to help others too. And so I really had the whole vision of Relive. And what happened to me um, personally, is when I caught back from conference, I was so excited about building this Relive business, and then within two weeks of getting back from conference, a week and a half later, I lost my job, and it was, I'd, I'd been there for almost 29 years, and it was a real blow to me, and I, even as I was losing my job, I thought, wow, you know what, this is going to be okay, because you've got Relive, and you're going to be able to build this business, and you are going to be able to move on. This is not the end of the world. And what I thought were, you know, my dreams of early retirement from this job, I knew those dreams were still on the table. So uh, what I did over the next few months after doing that, I got connected with my, um, my mentor, my sponsors, other friends, other people in Relive, and I was able to um, get a bonus for that month and the following month of the Power of Three bonus, and they brought that back this month. And so what the Power of Three bonus is, is that as you sponsor a new master affiliate, you get a $250 bonus if you do that twice you get another $250 bonus. And if you can sponsor three master affiliates over the next three months, you'll get a $500 bonus. So that's an extra $1,000 in your pocket. And I was able to get two of those bonuses last August and September, and it was a huge blessing. It was just amazing um, to have that extra income during that time where I was looking for you know, a new job. And so it was a wonderful opportunity that um, I'm, and I'm excited that they brought that back because that, that bonus is near and dear to my heart. So you want to get to conference. You want to um, think about what daily activities you want to do. Um, and if you want to move forward in your business, you need to treat this like a, I want to say a job. But I don't want to be derogatory. You want to treat this like a career, though, where you need to invest time and you need to be consistent. And so, um, you know, find what what works for you. 
if you want to work during your lunch hour, if you can commit um, routinely specific hours of each day, this is what you want to do. And you want to treat this like a business because it will build. And But it's not going to build. It's going back to the garden scenario. Um, if you've planted the seeds, but you don't go out there and you don't weed and you don't water, then you're not going to be able to harvest anything in a few months. So uh, you want to think about what daily activity you want to do and then link into the corporate support, um, the different calls, the different webinars, the tools, and the website. So as I said, conference is coming up. I'm so excited about it. It's July 27th through 29th in Schaumburg, Illinois. It's a little bit west of Chicago. Very excited to go. And um, as I said, if you don't have your conference ticket yet, just start sharing the business and get three new distributors between now and conference. If you've already bought your conference ticket, keep going with your business. And as you get that um, extra conference ticket from starting three new distributors in your organization, give it to somebody. Take them to conference with you and let them see what this company is all about. Uh, there's just no way to do it justice without being there in person. So um, this is just such a great opportunity that's coming up. And this month, there's um, Sedona coming up, but this month for Master Affiliates, there is a top five bonus of if you come in top five uh, of your personal group volume this month, you get to go to Sedona. And so um, what an amazing opportunity. And I also believe that if you become a senior director between now and July, I believe that you get to go to Sedona as well. Um, of course, you can go to Sedona if you become an ambassador or if you move up a ranking in the ambassador um, program. So uh, set your sights on Sedona. Let's build towards getting this great business going and sharing with others and, and have that um, experience of being with others at this leadership celebration. And so you want to engage your team as well. You want to, um, I'm looking at this build ambassadors, build ambassadors, build relationships. This goes right back to the heart of what Louise talked about earlier. And thanks again for sharing, Louise. Um, she talked about, you know, building relationships with folks. It's, it's just, um, it's where you keep others first. Um, and, and Barbara Bonich talked about, you know, treating your customers like gold. Um, this is a real people-centered opportunity where, you know, we get to reach out to folks and we get to share with them and share from our heart and, um, and let them know that we care about them. And it goes beyond selling a can of product. We truly care about them. So um, stay engaged about what's going on with Relive, the different opportunities, the different promotions. I think, oh, there's a promotion that I'm missing. Um, we've got the Power of Three. We've got the conference, the top five. Oh, and this month, they're still offering the quick start so uh, at the $500 level, so if somebody wants to purchase a kit or get $500 worth of product as a new distributor, then they come in at the 25% level. And so it's a great opportunity for people to get started. And you want to set your own goals. Um, Barb talked about this in our training last week in Portland. She said, you know, have a really concrete vision of what are, what are 10 things you really want to do. And she gave us wonderful um, outlines on if you want to get to a presidential director, this is the work that you need to do. These are the people that you need to connect with every day. Um, you know, you need to set this many appointments. You need to 
do this month after month after month. Again, um, sorry, keeping it simple. Um, you, uh, there's an outline. This this um, business has got a. De- I'm getting a little tongue tied. I'm sorry. Um, there's a way that you can get a predictable income with this business if you put in the different work. And so she handed out really great things of of success plans of action, what you do the first 30 days, what you do the next um, 60 days, the second month, and then the third month in 90 days. You know, you're going to want to make that list of 100 people. You're going to want to set 30 appointments. And um, then do your follow-up. And so... This is a great company because the income, if you put in the work, you can reap the reward. And then the last thing is you want to just duplicate. So help um, go on um, as you've helped another. Then think, who's next? Who can I help next? Uh, As you follow up with that person that you've helped help them get to the health results that they want, the business results that they want, and help them to sort of dust off their dreams again too, um, as Tom Pinnock likes to say. So thank you very much. We want to um, open up. You can star six. Uh, we'd love to hear what's going on in Utah. I know I, I saw a flyer come out, and um, there's some great, uh, meetings coming up in Utah, some um, sharing and, and training. Um, does anybody from Utah want to come on and share that? You just star six your phone to unmute. I know in the Portland area. Um, we are having at my house on Tuesday an open house and um, going over the business opportunity. The or um, yeah, the we're having an opportunity meeting is what I wanted to say. Um, so let's see, Linda. Try to, yes. Okay, this Hi. is Lynn Piccarelli. Hi, I was double muted. Oh, Sorry. Hi. Hi. Yes, we are. We're having Bev Bentley come in from Arizona, which is really exciting. You know, she's had great results with Fit3 and a lot of other health results and built a nice business. And um, so there will be meetings at my house uh, June 8th and Salt Lake area June 9th and training at my house June 10th. I have the days right there. Um, so, yeah, keep it in mind if you got any, have anybody in this area. Send them. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Lauren or Robert, is there anything going on in California? And anybody else? Um, Anybody else? Louise, you've got opportunity meetings at your house up in the Seattle area. Is that correct? Hey, Linda, it's Kyla. Oh, hi, Kyla. Hi there. Um, We've tentatively, I'm talking with Tom Pennick to be in Portland on September 30th. And so we will be able to confirm that in the next few weeks. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So that means big party in Portland and um, yes, stuff on your calendars. Yeah, we had a lot of fun last time and uh, we had a a golf, a miniature golf uh, tournament that we enjoyed, and we'll probably do that again. And um, he would just be there most likely a Friday afternoon, Friday evening, probably do that, and then a Saturday training and meeting with uh-huh. him. Uh-huh. Wonderful. So, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He did a great training okay. this morning, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, uh I think we will end the recording at this point and then um, unmute the lines and we can all say goodbye to each other and and 
Um, have a fantastic week, everybody. Thank you very much.